The DA cannot seem to shake Patricia DeLille in a way that doesn't point to deep cracks and massive confusion for its support base. The latest in the tug of war between the party and DeLille um, led to the resignations and accusations of racism within the party in an alleged damaging report on DeLille's tenure as the mayor or rather as the city's uh, first citizen of Cape Town. Well, joining us now to answer some of the burning questions is Mr. Uh, Soli Malazzi. He's the Democratic Alliance spokesperson. I must just tell our viewers that it is, has been an absolute nightmare to get hold of Mr. Musi Maimani, the leader of the DA, and Ms. Natasha Mazzoni, both of whom um, have uh, just refused to come onto the program. So we, of course, now speaking with uh, the, um, with the uh, spokesperson. Mr. Uh, Malati, let me get straight to the point. Ms. Delil is heading to the courts. She is essentially going to take uh, the Bowman report on review. What is the DA's next move? Good evening, Karima, and good evening to Bruce, including the viewers of the city. For us, it's quite simple. The Bowman report was an initiative of the city of Cape Town. It is an independent report that was done um, following a council decision to investigate allegations that had been leveled against the mayor. So from us as the party, we respect council processes, and that is a council process that should be um, allowed to unfold. With regards to the mayor taking it to court, it's a matter between the mayor and the city of Cape Town. She is taking the city of Cape Town to court. For us, there is a clear distinction between the process of the party and the process of the city of Cape Town, which is the government in this regard. Can I, can I just ask a question that, that, so that I understand yes. it? The Bowman's, yes. the Bowman's report was commissioned by whom? By the city. It was adopted by the council by the of the council, city of Cape Town. Which is the DA-led council. Exactly. Right? Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, so what I'm asking... But, but what, the what, council... What, what, no, I understand. But what I don't understand is why... A few days before she's about to go, what insanity would have, would, have, would have prevailed on somebody in the council to table this report and not expect Patricia DeLille to, you know, to go crazy? Look, Bruce, there are, there are, there are two it's distinctions. Peter. Oh, sorry, sorry, That's sorry. Okay. My apologies, no, Mr. Okay. Bruce. No, okay. um, my, my, um, there are two distinctions that are critical to, to this, that um, you would recall that when both um, Patricia Delil and Musi Maimane um, announced in the joint statement that an agreement had been reached for the mayor to step down, that in that particular joint statement there was a reference to allow the council processes to proceed. That made reference to the investigations that the city of council had initiated. So this item was due to be on the agenda of the city of Cape Town Council, and it came up for discussion at the last council meeting, which took place on first day. Yeah. Um, it, is, it is quite important that the process of the council, whether the DA is the majority in that council or not, that the process of a council is allowed to proceed without the interference of the party. Mr. Mr. Malati, I think you're absolutely right, but let me read you a statement by former DA councillors and sure. members. Um, sure. And this is Suzette Little, Sean August, Sia Mamkele, uh, Tulani Stimela, and Greg Bernardo. It sure. says, Musi Maimani is dishonest and not to be trusted. We have instructed an attorney to institute action against him and the DA for defamation. On Thursday, the 25th of October, and during a meeting of the Cape Town City Council, we announced our resignations from the council and as members of the Democratic, the Democratic Alliance. We did so individually after each of us had taken a long considered personal decision about our future in the DA. Each of us do so for our own reasons. However, it soon became clear that there is a significant commonality in what brought us to make our decision. Let's just listen to one of the um, DA council members, Mr. Sean August, uh, make the case for the rest of the councillors. Sure. I'm not saying everybody in the DA is racist, but surely those that hold senior positions within the DA, both politically and also both administratively, some of them, yes, are very racist. 
Can I ask you a question quickly before you go on, Karim? I mean, aren't we just seeing how the sort of, you know, the, the former independent Democrats just leaving the DA again? I mean, the, the leader has gone and these guys are going as well. I mean, is this a crisis or is it just, was this to be expected? I think it's a combination of both, Peter. I think a lot of people forget that Patricia DeLille didn't come by herself to the Democratic yeah. Alliance. There was, in fact, a merging of two parties. Sure. Uh, the independent Democrats were a lot um, weaker. But you must remember the city of Cape Town is one of the richest cities in the country. Sure. So there's a lot of... Um, um, uh, patronage networks that are going on, and people are talking about this. Mr. Malazzi, what um, um, Natasha Mazzoni said was incredibly uh, telling. She said that the Bowman's report is containing very serious allegations against Mr. Lowe and that must be tested. And Mr. Lowe essentially is saying that she had an undertaking with Mr. Maimani that she would leave the party with her name cleared and intact. She feels that you guys have backstabbed her and she feels that you have, in fact, uh, gone back on your word. I don't think that is, that is accurate. And again, the... The point of reference for me is the joint statement that um, the mayor and Musi Maimani released uh, jointly. And in that, re in that press statement, again, they, um, there was a paragraph there that highlighted the fact that in, a, in and about the agreement, the political agreement that had been reached, it was also agreed that the council processes, because Musi Maimani can't interfere with council processes, but the council processes will be allowed to proceed uh, because those were initiated by the city of Cape Town. And I don't think there was a reversal of any weight in, in this regard. In fact, what had happened was consistent with the joint statement that was both re that was released by both the mayor and, and Musi Maimani. Mr. Mr. Malati, Ms. Delo goes further. Yeah. She says the DA deliberately leaked that um, report. She, in fact, also complained, ama complained about Bowman's behavior. And essentially, mm. she's saying that you are not in charge. In today's city press, she says, mm. Musi Maimani is not in charge of the party. He gets to mimic what is being told by a group that is behind him. Now, we know... Can I respond to that? No, let me finish my question. Sure. You will have ample opportunity. And, of course, the, the issue is the same is being said of Mr. Soli Msimanga in Pretoria, uh, where you have a city manager who is at the center of a 12 billion rand uh, uh, contract the mayor knew about. Um, we're not sure what the relationship between GLAD Africa and the EFF is. We know, for example, that Mr. Dalim Porfo is also Mr. Lil's counsel on this matter. I mean, this speaks to um, a lot of the ways in which um, coalition organizations work. And it appears as if um, Mr. Lil had an understanding with Mr. Maimani that he now can't deliver on. Uh, and according to her, it's because he's not really running the party. But, but if I can just interject, it's hard to believe that somebody in the DA would mm. deliberately do something which would give her a hook on which to yeah. delay her departure. I mean, it sounds to me like a cock-up. Mm. Um, somebody's made a mistake. Um, surely, when was this report published? I mean, is this, was this available at the meeting before, prior to this meeting? Mr. Molassi, you know? can you answer those questions, please? Sure, but I think it's important to also start at the beginning with the statement that you released. But quickly to, to, to Peter's point, um, councillors get distributed um, council documents. This council was on the, IT, on the agenda of the city of Cape Town, and it has now subsequently been published. It's freely available to, to the public for reading on the city of Cape Town's website. But to go back to um, Karima's statements and reference that uh, Patricia made, I mean, insinuating or making any hint that somehow um, Musi Maimani is not in charge. I think for us this is just, I mean, it's, it's racially loaded um, that simply because the leader of the DA is black, therefore he cannot be in charge. In our mind, we under no illusion. But he's the of, one that negotiated the deal with Patricia. Yes. He's the one that 
negotiated the deal with Patricia Delille. He is the one that issued the joint statement with Patricia Delille, and it was undersigned by both of them. You know what I find very interesting, Mr. Malazzi? Yes. When the Democratic Alliance wants to raise an issue of other parties, uh, particularly the African National Congress, its full leadership comes to the fore. Uh, Ms. Natasha Mazzoni was in on this program, and then suddenly she was not available. Uh, Mr. Musi Maimani didn't even bother to return our um, request. You were made available. None of the senior DA leadership is prepared to actually talk to us about whether or not the report of Bowman's were tabled, did Miss Patricia DeLille see that, and what is the nature of the agreement between her and Musi Maimani? Because she is heading to the courts and she is going to take that matter on review. She's won twice in the courts already. What makes you so sure that she doesn't have a case? Sure, let's, let's, let's deal with those. I mean, whether the DA is represented by Natasha Mazone or Soli Malazi or Musi Maimani, they are, we are all representative of the DA at the senior leadership level. We are all members of federal executive. I think what's important is that at any platform when the DA is required or someone from the DA is required to speak on behalf of the DA, that they are available. And that is why I eventually came on the program. But secondly, with regards to, to the Bowman report, I mean, um, previous successes in court are not by any means an indication of future successes. In this case, if the mayor takes the, the, the Bowman um the Bowman's report on review as is her right to do so. The city of Cape Town will have to defend itself because that report is a report that was initiated by the city of Cape Town. And if she's got any um, the, the issues you raised that she has highlighted with Bowman's, you know, I mean, I don't speak on behalf of Bowman's. It will be up to Bowman's to defend their report because they are the compilers of that report and the authors of, of that report. But they are, of course, acting on behalf of the city of council and the city of council, the, the, the city of Cape Town is run by the Democratic Alliance. Mr. Sali Malazzi, the DA spokesperson, thank you very much. Still ahead up on the fix, we will explore the link between VBS Mutual Bank and the AFEF's top leaders as well as the African National Congress. Don't go anywhere.